I can quote one of my favorite poets, John Lennon. You may say, <laughs> you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. So now the partnership agreement's in place, and now we've got to continue to go forth and engage. And the governing board of the Patterson Foundation feels it is our responsibility and opportunity to continue to support the work of what is now called the Bay Park Conservancy for our park at Bay. So um, this is where there's a visual aid, all right? Big tablecloth. Big tablecloth. Patterson Foundation will make a check of $2 million to propel forward phase one in operations of the Bay. Then every time the community contributes $5 million, we will contribute another $1 million. That means this first bubble will contribute up to $5 million. Bubble number two is private contributions. Remember, I think the generosity heart rate is quite strong around here. It's $15 million. Simple math gets you to the 20 million. Knowing you may have aspirational goals beyond that, but we at least have to get to 20 million for phase one in operations. So um, we thank you for the opportunity to share this with you. Those of us at the Bay are deeply thankful to the Patterson Foundation, its board, and Deborah for the expression of commitment that they made to the Bay today. What I've loved about the Patterson Foundation ever since I came to Sarasota is that they are multipliers. Every piece of work that they do is about multiplying the effect and this one's going to do precisely that. I think this is a game changer. I'm surprised and yet not surprised that the Patterson Foundation has once again challenged the community to make this dream a realization. I'm speechless. I keep getting goosebumps. So I think this could truly be the beginning of the bag. The generosity of their foundation and this community is incredible. The, the contribution that makes the stimulus that it will give us to raise the money that we need to implement the first phase of this amazing park is just, I mean, it blows my mind. So I couldn't be more excited. If you look on the west coast of Florida and you search for a place that has 50 acres on the bayfront, owned by the city, the people, and there's really not much on it but pavement and some buildings that are approaching the end of their useful life, and then you look at the decades of struggle that the city and the community have gone through to try to develop something really special there. And you see how it was solved by a citizens group who got together with no clear mandate, no government direction, and they worked for five years to get to this point. That I think probably the organizers got a little frustrated with the um, input they were receiving, it was coming in in such large volumes, uh, like drink, drinking, out, drinking out of the proverbial fire hose. But once that, all that information was synthesized, it uh, formed into a, a, vi a clear vision uh, of our community on uh, what ought to be done with this 53 acres of waterfront property. And that groundswell really is what was kind of a catalyst for us because, as you know, we, we look in a collaboration, a connective tissue. We had the entire community coming together and really not necessarily with a specific end, but trying to collaborate on what was the best for this community. And as we saw that collaboration, we thought that we needed to help be the catalyst that would allow the community to continue to come together and to really fulfill what it believed to be the best purpose of this, of this land, not government, but the people itself. By having phase one as a focus and being able to raise the money from the private sector to make phase one a reality, people will be able to experience it, they'll see it in motion, so the belief and um, excitement about the full 53 acres will emerge. It's a long-term project, but we want to propel this forward so people can go, yes, I worked on this and it is happening. In the future, when someone throws up a picture of Sarasota, 
they're going to throw up a picture of this site and it's going to be the biggest attraction that we have in this community. How do you not invest in that?